Hi everybody, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and in this short video I am going to show you how to undertake a test of normality uh, on uh, a set of variables. Okay? So maybe once again we'll just familiarise ourselves with the data set that we have here. Uh, this data set represents the results of a survey of 106 employees in a local organisation and more importantly, this particular data set represents uh, the results in trying to understand uh, employee working conditions uh, perception or an employee's perception of their working conditions. Uh, we have a number of variables. Uh, each variable within SPSS, is in, within the data view, uh, is presented as a column uh, within the data view. Okay, our first variable represents gender. That was one of the questions uh, on the survey that was given to these 106 employees. The second variable represents age. Uh, the third variable, uh, true to the 12th variable, uh, or true to the 11th variable, uh, represents a measure of an employee's uh, perception of their working conditions. Uh, these items were taken from a previously validated scale, and once again, we will not be revalidating in this scale uh, within this video. Uh, but what we have in anyway, these uh, nine items, WC1 through to WC9, uh, are an estimate uh, or are questions or items uh, to help us understand an employee's overall perception of their working conditions. So what we're interested in is we're interested in uh, testing this particular variable and more importantly testing uh, the true grouping levels based on gender within this particular variable, testing them for normality. Because if we want to proceed and if we want to do a test of difference between uh, genders, gender levels, uh, one of the assumptions associated with an independent samples t-test is that the two samples have been drawn from reasonably normally distributed populations. So let's let's just look at the gender. Or sorry, let's just have have a look at the employee working conditions perception variable as a whole. That's the full collection of 106 responses uh, for that particular variable. Okay. And what I'd like to know is I'd like to know are these responses uh, normally distributed? Okay. To undertake an, a, a a normally a normally a normal distribution analysis uh, once again we'll go to the analyze option within the within the uh, menu tab uh, if we hit analyze uh, if we go to descriptive statistics and if we go to explore this will allow us to explore the properties of a particular variable so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit explore and the explore window uh, pops up that has a number uh, of options available. Uh, down this panel here on the left hand side is a list of all the variables uh, at play within this particular within this particular data set. Uh, this panel here represents our dependent variable list. That's the variable we would like to test for normality and factor a list allows us to subdivide that variable into a number of samples. Uh, based on the levels of measurement of another variable. Okay, so for this particular purposes uh, at this stage, let's just consider the employee working conditions uh, perception variable, and let's test this for normality. So. We have a number of options available to us here within the Explore view. Uh, we can list out statistics, uh, and that's by default we need to provide uh, the statistics associated with our variable. So we're not going to do anything in this particular window. Uh, but what's really important for us is to go into the Plots option here, press the Plots button, and we have a number of options here associated with plots. Uh, we don't want to see any stem and leaf plots. Maybe we want to see some histograms, uh, but what we really want to see is we want to see the normality plots uh, and their associated tests. So let's hit continue there and let's proceed. So we're just looking at the overall variable. We're not breaking it up into groups based on factors. We're just looking at the overall variable uh, employee working conditions perception. And let's hit OK and let's see what we get. Okay, so the output window opens up and we get the output uh, from conducting an explore uh, on the variable employee working conditions perception. 
And like uh, a lot of our a lot of our uh, previous uh, outputs, uh, we have a number of tables that are produced here. The first table here is just in relation to the case processing summary. Uh, it's going to identify whether they're whether all for all the responses uh, uh, that all the values were present or whether any values were missing. In this case, all the values were present, 100% uh, valid. Uh, there was no missing values for the employee working conditions perception variable. The second table lists the typical descriptive statistics along with confidence intervals associated with the with the mean or the population mean uh, that this sample uh, has been drawn from. Uh, we have a 95% confidence interval produced. We have the mean of the data set which is 27.70. We have the lower bound of the confidence interval of 26.73 and the upper bound of the confidence interval of 28.67. Really what we're saying here is that we seem to be sort of 95% confident that the true population mean associated with, with this sample or from which this sample has been taken uh, should be found uh, within 26.73 and 28.67 on the variable scale employees working conditions perception. Uh, and we have a number of other statistics here. We have the median, the variance, standard deviation, uh, the minimum and the maximum, which gives us the range of the data set. And we also have the interquartile range. Uh, we have a measure of skewness and we have a measure of kurtosis. And we have the standard error associated with skewness and kurtosis. Uh, we can calculate, I suppose, uh, deviations from normality by looking at the skewness uh, statistic and also looking at kurtosis. But for our purposes, what we're going to rely on is we're going to rely on predefined tests of normality. Okay. So there's uh, two well accepted approaches, I suppose, in relation to testing for normality. There's one test known as the Kolmogorov Smirnov test, and there's an alternative test known as the Shapiro Wilkes. We're actually going to rely on the Shapiro Wilkes statistic uh, to to prove normality or disprove normality with respect to the the, the sample data that we're considering. Uh, Kolmogorov Smirnov has been shown to be not very robust uh, with respect to deviations from normality. So for our purposes we're going to consider Shapiro-Wilkes. And once again, like every test that we perform, uh, every test has a null hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis. And this is a test of normality. And the test of normality, the null hypothesis associated with the Shapiro-Wilkes statistic, is one of no difference. So we're testing our sample against a predefined normally distributed data set that we understand the full characteristics of. So the null hypothesis is we'll assume that the sample is normally distributed. And once again, to reject that particular position, the significance of the test uh, must be less than 0 0.05. And in this particular case, for the variable employee working conditions perception, we can see that for the Shapiro-Wilkes statistic, uh, we can see the statistic, the Shapiro-Wilkes statistic comes in as 0 0.988, with 106 degrees of freedom, and the significance of the result is 0 0.475. So really what we're saying here is this, the significance or the p-value is not less than 0 0.05. That's our s typical uh, predefined significance level for our tests. Uh, and as such, there's insufficient evidence to suggest that this particular sample deviates from normality. Okay? So the Shapiro-Wilkes test will allow us to decide whether our data set uh, is reasonably normal or whether it deviates from normality. And in this particular case, uh, we cannot reject the null hypothesis, so we'll proceed and assume that the data set is normally distributed. I suppose another way that we could actually look at normality is we could look at some descriptive plots such as the histogram uh, for our particular variable. Uh, this the variable once again is employee working conditions perception. Uh, along the horizontal axis here of the of this particular uh, histogram represents the possible values that an employee with respect to this sample I suppose the range of values that an employee uh, has gained with respect to this particular scale our values range from 15 up to 40 at the top of the scale here indicates that an employee or employees are very satisfied with their working conditions and at the bottom of the scale here it indicates that they're 
suppose, less satisfied with their working conditions. The horizontal or the vertical bar here, the vertical axis here, represents the number of observations that fall within each of these particular within each particular each one of these particular sub intervals. Yeah. Now if we double click on this histogram. Uh, we have a number of options available to us and one option here we can see the little curve